I got a request to do some drop down menus. So the first video I'm doing is going to be easy drop down menus. And the second one I'll do is more complicated but smoother drop down menus. Right now, um, I already have, I got started ahead of time. I got a little menu bar going. So I, the first thing I need is a rectangle tool. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw a box underneath media. Okay. That's pretty easy. I'm going to name that box drop down. Why? Which that's not drop down, is it? Drop down. And why? Because that's going to hold our drop down. So it's named drop down. I'm going to grab the text tool and I'm going to click in here and I'm going to put my first uh, menu item, which would be photos. And because I'm massively lazy, we can kind of roll with that. I'm going to hold my option key, click and drag. And I'm going to create a total of three options. I'm going to kind of eyeball it here. I'm just going to grab this and drag this down just a teen, teeny bit. There we go. Kind of get it just lined up a little bit better. And there we go. So the first one, photos. That's easy. We'll just change this to photos. And leave it photos. Then the second one will be videos. And I'll change the text on it by double clicking videos. OK, got videos. Excellent. Then the one underneath that will change it to writing. OK, got that. And we'll change this over here to writing as well. Close that first. And we'll just change that to writing. All right, so each one of them has a name. Um, I'm going to move them a little bit closer. I think they look too far away. And then I'm going to do a couple of little sight things. So we'll click one, two, three. And I can use my arrow keys and the shift key so I can bring them all up. There we go. Now there's a hierarchy. When you look at something, if it's bigger, bolder, whatever, you want to use, you think it's more important. We're going to make these just a little bit smaller, about 18 pixels, which would indicate that they are not quite as important as those. They're a sub menu, and I think I'll just bring this box up a little. There you go. All right. So the next thing we need to do is come over here to the elements panel. And we're going to grab the text name photos, hold the shift key, videos, and writing, and drag them right on top of drop down. Now they're all one group. So now we need to make, we don't, when we start this out, we don't want this hanging, you know, just hanging there. So we're going to do a little code magic and make this work. So window code. And we'll go across from the stage, plus sign, composition ready. And what do we want to do? Well, we want to talk to Edge, S-Y-M dot dollar sign, open parentheses, double quotes, close parentheses, dot. And then we want to do some CSS, CSS, open parentheses, open curly brace, double quotes, double quotes, semi, uh, colon. Another set of double quotes, col close the um, curly brace, close the parentheses, semicolon. What a mouthful. So the first question we have to ask ourselves, what are we trying to affect? Well, we're trying to affect this thing here called the drop down. So we'll call drop down. And what are we trying to do? Well, we want to affect the display or how we see it, display. And what we want is that you can't see it, none. And if we go test it, command return, you can't see it, so we were successful. Okay, good. Now, before we get any further with this, before we do any more code, we want to add a script over here, but we have to go get it. So we're going to pop over to Safari, and I already have jQuery.com open. I'm going to push the big button, going to scroll down to the CDN. And we're not using the script. We're just going to take this part of the script from code to JS, copy it, come back here, plus sign, from URL, paste, 
and OK. Now, only one more line of code to do. Like I said, this will work. It's the down and dirty version. We'll do the more complicated in uh, the next version. So I'm going to open up the media, the media, and I'm going to go with mouse enter. So whenever the mouse, your finger, whatever, enters the word media, this is what's going to happen. So we're going to go S Y M dot dollar sign, open parentheses, open quotes, double quotes, close double quotes, close parentheses, dot. And now we're just going to use a little method that's connected to that script we added, and that's called slide toggle. And because it's a function, we're going to open the parentheses, close the parentheses, and a semicolon. Now what are we trying to get to slide up and down? Well, the drop down, of course. So we're going to type drop down, and now we're going to test it. So boom. If we roll over it again, it'll go up. What this requires is you to keep rolling over the word media to make it go up and down. Yeah, it's not particularly the smoothest yet, but it works, and that's the down and dirty way to do it. There's a couple other minor things we want to do. So we've got the word media selected. We want to come over here and change the cursor. There we go. Each one of these is going to need to go somewhere. So we would open this up and click links, same window, and I would call this, of course, photos.html, photos.html, and I would change the cursor, and then I would do the same for video, of course, clicking video, change the cursor, come down here, grab the this, unclick, links, same window that would be videos dot html okay almost done click writing change the cursor add the cur add the actions click links same window and this one would be writing dot html all right so we're ready that's it and how to make a quick down and dirty drop down we're done. Go away. I'm finished today.